Hey guys, welcome to Bass Boys, and this is our first actual official video on the channel. And today, I'm going to give you guys a tour of my fishing gear, and we will get Miles, the first person you saw in our first video, we'll get a tour of his later on in this video. Well, maybe not this video, but sometime other. And yeah, thanks for clicking on this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. Helps the channel out a ton. So the first thing I got here, oh, I'll just sit you guys down right here, is I got this blues spinner right here. It's pretty basic, nothing crazy. And what I got rigged up on it is I got a little topwater whopper plopper right there. So. I have a couple bait casters, but they're not here right now. They're at my grandparents. So that's this for reals. I'll just set this down here. And then for the cool gear, I got my tackle box. So I'm gonna set you guys up right here. I don't know that it ain't gonna work. Um, here we can go in the back. But yeah, thanks again for clicking on this video. Um. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And yeah, let me know if it's too bright out here, guys. All right. So. So, here is my tackle box. Right here. It's a Shakespeare. It's got a little strap on it. It's got these two right here. And this first one right here is the one we're going to check out. So, this, this first one has got all, like, worms and stuff. So, in this first one, we have these crawdads right here that are really good. I like to use these. And then, next, we have these exopod things. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, and then I have these, which I love these, and I pretty much use all of them. Crawdads. Here, let me see if you can see one that and then you always every good fisherman has to have himself some yum dingers aka wacky worms on the wacky rig just can't go wrong with that next i got some of these for getting the fish hooks out and then we got some coffee tubes work tremendously uh caught some i think i caught a caught my pb on that that four pound bass ew, it catches some big ones and then i got these really cool foldable scissors you can just pull apart and they come out but yeah that is the first one i'll put this stuff back in and then if you come to the side we have i have my weights on this side and i just randomly have a bobber so that's that side and then, don't worry guys, we'll get to the big one later. But, there's nothing right there. And then I have my braided line right here. And then I also keep a little bit of mono line. So, yeah, that's that. That's that side right there. And then, the cool part is what's cooked up in the middle. First of all, I got this little sheet because I cannot remember how to tie knots. So I got this laminated sheet that helps me remind me how to tie knots. Next, we got this scale right here that I got for my birthday. It's very, very nice and I really, really like it. Next up, we got the first tray. We got a little sticker on there. All right, let me bring you guys over here and let's open this thing up. So right here is what we got. First up, we got this little frog right here. Oh, it's a mess in here. And then next, we got this that is hooked onto the frog, which shouldn't be. But guys, I I need help organizing, you know? I can barely get my stuff organized. And I need a couple more trays. And then I have this right here. 
Um, I have a buzz bait that is no longer working because my brother took all the things off of it. And then we have this right here. I like this one for the lake. We have some of these, which I really like too. Yodo something. And then we have, of course, actually have the wacky worm on the wacky rib. If you guys can't tell, I actually put some rubber like O-rings on here. And if you put the hook through those instead of the worm, it'll make it last a little bit longer. So pro tip right there, even though I'm not really a pro. But anyway, moving up to the top, we of course have none other than some rooster tails. I got three of them. I also have four of these road runners. And then we also got some of these right here. Some, some of those right there. And then of course, my go-to morning bait, this popper right here. This thing is my go-to. And then I have two big ones that are tangled again. Not very organized. But that's the first trash there. Give you guys a little overhead view right there. It's very messy, as you can tell. I need to clean this thing out. But yeah, that's the that's the that's the first tray. Moving on to the second here. This one is all my weights and hooks. Again, um, I only have two trays, so I need definitely need some more. So here's a little overhead view of the second tray. Ton of weights and stuff like that. And I don't really want to pick all these up, so I'll show you. I'll just give you a little slow so you can see them. But yeah, that's the second tray. And that is pretty much everything that I have for now. Some of the stuff is, again, at my grand grandparents because that's where I do a lot of fishing stuff but yeah that's just a quick video of all my fishing gear and i'll show you those bait casters sometime soon guys but yeah thanks for watching have an amazing day and see you now see you on the next one